Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, spelled P-A-Y-N-E, of course, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and yes, is my dad, Bob Payne. Good morning, Dad. What's shaking on this uh, April quarantining weekend? Uh, happy Passover, Happy Easter. So it's uh, you know it's a time to really reflect, and man, oh man, strange times. Well, it really is, Ryan. I've been physically distancing from people, but you know, your mom's a social animal and she discovered Zoom meeting and we have been socially active every evening with a group of friends from everywhere over the country. So it's um, <laughs> family, friends, high school, college, from the beach, from New York. I'm exhausted. I mean, it's I've, I've never been so social in my life. Your, your video conference doubt. I, you know, it sounds like mom is... <laughs> single-handedly moving that Zoom stock upwards, which is up uh, over 85% this year. So yeah, it's, it's definitely been a great outlet for social animals like mom, <laughs> for sure. Well, we got a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. And just during these crazy times, we actually have a special guest on the show this morning. We're going to have CPA Jeff Bernstein on. He's going to break down all the new rules that have just come out, all the new stimulus, so you can learn what tax advantages that you can be taking advantage of right now. So it's hot off the press. It's going to be some great information on taxes today. We're going to talk about what now. With global markets down anywhere from 25 30%, uh, the world economy shut down. The big question is, what do you do now? Well, Bob and I are going to break down everything you need to consider investment-wise, considering the new normal. And we have this week's Spotlight segment. We have our colleague, Aaron Dessen, financial advisor at Payne Capital Management on the show. He's going to break down someone's real retirement plan for you. So let's hop to it. Got a great show for you. Lots of information to cover. Hey, this is Ryan Payne. For all our podcast listeners right now, it's a crazy time. It's extremely volatile. And you're probably thinking to yourself, what should I be doing with my portfolio, my retirement plan? What changes should I be making? What we're offering right now, if you have over $500,000 saved for retirement, put together our financial planning game plan. You simply need to go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. What we'll do is do a full analysis of all your portfolios, we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal. We can start looking at all those critical things. You know, what kind of income are you generating? What kind of diversification do you have? What kind of protection do you have in your portfolio? We're going to break it all down for you. We're going to run some retirement projections, start looking at what you should be saving for retirement. What have you saved for retirement? When do you want to be financially independent? We're going to answer all those questions, put it together for you. And we're going to do it for free. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan during these volatile times, why are quarantining? We'll build you that personalized portal. We'll figure out where you should be going, what changes you should be making to your portfolio. So take advantage of it. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan, and we'll put together a game plan for you today. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio, and Bob and I want to make sure you're getting the most common sense, practical advice for your planning and investing. That's why we put together our latest guide, how to survive the bear market, just give you some tips, thoughts, things you can do from a tax perspective to save on taxes, optimize your portfolio during these volatile times. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888, how to survive the bear market survival guide. You can check it out. We'll give you some tips, thoughts, things you can do from a tax perspective, how to reposition your portfolio during these volatile times. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish. 555-888. That's the word bullish. 555-888. And now, so the government has just unleashed this $2 trillion Cronus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act. Say that two times fast or shorter called the CARES Act. So we have the co-principal of Bernstein Rosen and a company, certified public accountant, our man with all the answers, Jeff Bernstein on the show this morning to break it down for us. Jeff, thanks for being on the show. We appreciate it. We know you're uh, talking to us from your quarantined home, so we appreciate you having you on the show this morning. Yes, it's uh, my pleasure. Good to be here, Ryan and Bob. Hope you guys are doing well. So, Jeff, there's a lot going on, and you've been sending me emails literally five times a day. 
to all the changes with the CARES Act. And I thought maybe you could help our listeners out with just some of the major things that are going on right now that we can do to be proactive with all the new things the government's just come out with. So, you know, where do we start and what things do our listeners need to know about right now? A major provision for individuals, of course, is the recovery rebate check, which uh, says that each individual will get a check for $1,200. Uh, if you're married, it'll be $2,400. But of course, like everything else with taxes, it gets phased out if your income is too high. So if you're an individual and you make over 75000 your check will start to get phased out. And if you are married, that will be 150 and it starts to get phased out. Plus, you also get $500 per child. The one thing I'd like to mention on that that is not really as well known is that this is actually a 2020 tax credit. It is a credit against your 2020 income. So there's been a lot of talk about, oh, my God, what if my income is too high for 18 and 19 and 2020 is the year I'm going to have low income? Those people shouldn't worry. Supposedly, on your 2020 tax return, there'll be a line for this recovery rebate credit. And if your 2020 income falls below the threshold, you will get that money back when you file your 2020 return if you are not eligible in 18 or 19. So you're not gonna get a check per se, it's just gonna be a credit back against your taxes. No, it will be a check uh, now, but if you are not eligible for a check in 18 or 19 because your income is over the threshold, and in 2020 your income drops, you will get the check on your 2020 tax return as a credit. So what other things besides that's actually a great stimulus that we have coming down the pipeline, what other things do we need to be aware of right now? Uh, The other really big thing for individuals, older individuals, are that they've suspended taking required minimum distributions or RMDs from your retirement account. So if you um, are were over seven, eight and a half, which is now 72 is the rule, you do not have to take that required minimum distribution which certainly could save a lot of people a lot of tax because, of course, those are taxable. So that's- a lot of questions I got on that, Jeff, was how about the following year? Do you have to take two required minimum distributions? Uh, you do not. You only have to take the one. You know, the one. You don't have to make it up. It's just skipping it. That's um, great news. Planning opportunity could be as if that if your income in 2020 is low, you could actually maybe roll over some of your retirement account to a Roth IRA as opposed to a regular IRA saving money in the future. Yeah, that's a great strategy. And what threshold would you give someone as a rule of thumb to where they should consider doing a Roth conversion? It also, well, one, it depends where you live. If you live in New York City, that's very, very different than if you live in Florida, because as we all know, Florida has no state tax. To me, it's a, a combined tax rate of probably somewhere in the neighborhood of anything under 25, 30%, I'd say is okay. Also depends on how low your portfolio is based on what's happened recently in the stock market. So if you are very aggressive and your portfolio got really hurt, it's at a low point might be a better time to roll it over when it might, it hopefully will grow a lot in the future as the market comes back. Yeah. And that could be a great inheritance strategy too, because then your heirs would also inherit that money tax-free when they take it out. Whereas if it's in a regular retirement account, they have to pay the taxes on it. So that can be a multi-generational strategy as well, which is- Yeah. It also depends on your age. Obviously, your transfer to a Roth would have a lot more strength if you're younger than than if you're older, because you'll have more time to have the money grow tax-free if you're younger. So what other tips? This is These are all great so far, Jeff. This is, this, these are the pro tips that we uh, come to expect from you. What else uh, do you think is uh, our listeners should know about right now? Well, you could also, if you are going to have a financial hardship, you also they have now have waived penalties for taking money out of your IRA account. So you can now take up to $100,000 out of your IRA account. And two things, one, pay no penalty. And two, you also are allowed to repay that money within three years and not even pay any income tax on it. So you can take it out, put it back a year later and have no income tax. So if you're in a a, a financial hardship, I would like to mention that that money is so only supposed to be taken out for disaster related causes, not just because you feel like it. So you are supposed to have a reason for taking that out financial hardship due to the coronavirus. Jeff, does that apply to 401ks and 403bs as well? Well, if you're still employed, I don't think you can take a distribution. 
you know, that each employer will have their own rule. I don't believe you can take that out of your current employer's account. But in related to your question is they have increased the amount you're allowed to take out as a loan against your employer's retirement account. The maximum loan you could take out used to be 50,000 from your 401k at work or your company retirement plan. And that's been increased to 100,000. So there is more money available for uh, people who have money in their um, employer's plan. Now, how if you're a small business as well, Jeff, I know one of the big things right now, and we're looking into this for our business, is if you have your people on payroll, you're entitled to potentially getting a loan from the government under the PPP Act. What, what are you seeing around that? How easy is it to get money or access it if you have a business? Unbelievably tremendous program. This is a, you know, a lot of people are complaining that the banks aren't ready, but this is a $350 billion brand new loan program. It's absolutely massive. Yesterday, Treasury Secretary is going back to Congress to ask for more money because the $350 billion is going to run out real quick. This is a loan that will be forgiven if the money is used to pay your employees within the eight-week period following receipt of your loan proceeds. It's quite a complicated loan program. Very simply put, if you are an employer, and you have employees, including yourself, you can get a loan for up to two and a half times your average monthly 2019 payroll. And if you use that money to pay employees, you can then have the loan forgiven. It's a lot more detailed than that, but I think we don't want to get into too much uh, nitty gritty on that. But it's an unbelievable program, unprecedented. Uh, The big news is it's also available for self-employed people and independent contractors. So it's not just businesses that have employees. If you're a consultant and you get a 1099, you're eligible for this too. And it's based on your self-employment. Really a tremendous program that they've offered and and it will be expanding. So Jeff, besides socially distancing, you know, while you're home, I guess you're on vacation for three months because as of Monday, we don't have to file our tax return. You got a little postponement for for three months. So uh, nothing to do, I guess. So as I would imagine everyone has heard, the uh, April... 15th filing deadline has been extended to July 15th. So all taxes due on April 15th are now due on July 15th. And almost about every single state has complied with this as well. So certainly in the tri-state area, North New Jersey, Connecticut, all, all tax returns, all tax payments are due July 15th, no extensions needed. Also, what some people might not know is that uh, one, all retirement plans and IRA contributions are now yes. due July 15th. So if you were making a self-employed 401k or a regular IRA or a Roth IRA, your due date is now July 15th. And also, if you were making quarterly estimated tax payments, your first estimated tax payment is now due July 15th instead of April. But you got to beware because your second payment is still due at the regular time of June 15th. So it's a little strange that your second estimated payment is due before your first. A question around that, Jeff. So if you're someone who's going to forgo paying taxes right now, what would make sense here? Do you go to your accountant and just put together a schedule on making sure you pay all these things? Because it's going to be a big tax bill later by deferring your tax bill right now. Uh, yeah, I think everyone obviously has to make that um, decision independently. Uh, what we're doing is Looking at these, we're urging everyone to get their tax information in because a lot of employees uh, who are on W 2s have refunds on the federal or the state and owe money on the other, so they want the money. So, you could, if you have, let's say, a big refund for New York, you can get the refund now and pay the IRS later. Uh, as far as waiting, almost all the tax software programs will automatically pay the tax for you. So, we're urging people to file now, get the refund now, and if you owe money, the software automatically takes the money out on July 15th. Sure. There are also some benefits to the uh, unemployment payments, Jeff. Do you want to speak to that for a little bit? Uh, sure. Of course, regular unemployment is still there for everyone who has been furloughed or laid off. So uh, for New York State, for instance, the maximum unemployment you can get was $500 per week. That is, uh, as part of the CARES Act, that is two things. One, they have actually increased that by a maximum of $600 a week. So an individual can get as much as $1,100 a week, really a lot of money. 
the amount of time you can get unemployment has been extended by 13 weeks. It used to be 26, now it's 13. So the extra $600 a week is extended to July 31st. So that's not forever. They might go more for that. Potentially. Big news with the unemployment law change is that it's now much, much easier for self-employed to get unemployment insurance. It used to be you had to basically close your business. Now, if you're self-employed and you're out of work, you have no clients, no business, you can get unemployment insurance. Our clients have been taking tax losses. We're doing tax swaps you know, to offset future gains. Is that a strategy you see a lot of your clients are taking advantage of? Absolutely, especially if they're in ETF type funds that have losses. Yes. You're allowed to, you can sell, lock in your loss, and then buy a similar fund. Like, so if you're tracking the SP, there might be more than one ETF that tracks it. Not exactly, but close enough where you won't um, violate the wash loss sale rules. Yeah, that's yeah, great can- news because that way you don't lose your market position in, in the event the market yeah. keeps rallying like it did this week. And then you get the IRS to pay for some of the pain that we just suffered, you know, from the coronavirus. So great yeah, strategy. No, no yeah. pun intended with the pain, Bob. I like that. <laughs> Jeff, now just to, to verify as well. So if I even have real estate gains in the future, I could use those losses for my stocks to offset that gain in the future as well. So it's very flexible. You can use those losses for right. and they carry it forward. And they're also being able to use against capital gain distributions from mutual funds, which almost every when the market's going up, almost everyone is distributing, all the funds are distributing money. And a lot of that is distributed as, as capital gain distributions, which are considered capital gains. And you can use prior capital losses to offset that. Yeah, I always say uh, you, you want to put your losses in the loss bank because you know, they never dissipate, right? You can carry it forward forever until you use them up, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's a great strategy. Well, Jeff. That was phenomenal information. We're just so grateful to have you here. And you know, you're a great tax partner for our firm. You work for a lot of our clients. You're one of the premier New York City accountants that we work with. And any listener who wants to get some more information from Jeff and his team, you can reach out directly. You can go to www.bernsteinrosencpas.com. That's bernsteinrosencpas.com. You can get in contact with Jeff and his team. They can help you out with taxes. And right now, more than ever, there's just so many things to do with taxes. I'm hitting Jeff up at least twice a day. So I'm sure I'm not on your good list, Jeff, but thank you very much, man, for being quarantined and being on the show this morning. Well, it's my pleasure, Ryan, Bob. It's great to see you guys and be here as always. Yeah, I can't Thanks wait to see you again, Jeff, down at the beach when we can uh, actually shake hands and see each other in person again. Yeah, well, Fauci said no shaking hands anymore ever. So we'll see what happens. All right, we'll wave <laughs> to each other. Hey, if you're thinking to yourself, my goodness, this is great information. I didn't know all these different tax advantageous strategies that were available to me. Well, here's your chance. If you're one of our next 10 callers and you've saved at least 500000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. We'll even create a 360 financial portal for you. That's a financial GPS, so to speak, just like the one that's in your car, your truck, which will map where you're going and report daily on your progress to your journey to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and map out the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals, net of taxes, net of inflation. It'll put your financial life in order and put it on autopilot so you'll avoid all these financial potholes and dead ends of the typical cookie cutter plan that you might have in your desk drawer at this time. In addition, it'll update your net worth on a daily basis in real time. Now lately, we probably didn't wanna see that, but eventually we will, but this will put you in a position where you always know where you are, but most importantly, you'll know where you're going financially and exactly when you're gonna get there. In addition, Ryan and I wanna see all your statements, pull them all together. They're coming in the mail right now, stick them in a folder, stick them in a shopping bag. We even have a secure email where you can send them to us in real time so we can look it over and break it down. Make sure you don't have a collection of investments. You don't have ticking time bombs in that portfolio that you need to avoid. We're going to take all that information and break it down so you know that you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. True diversification across asset classes, within asset classes, with real bonds that come due and pay a coupon. We're going to look at all those hidden fees. You know, we talk about that every week. We have x-ray vision. We know where they're hidden. We know how to find them and we're going to show it to you. We're going to pull that curtain away and show you where those costs are that are keeping your performance numbers down. And in addition, we're going to look at income. 
you know, income is something we all need to fill that gap when we retire, when that paycheck stops coming in. But all of you out there that are retired right now, you have one goal, and that goal is to stay retired. And that depends on income, dependable, repeatable, efficient income. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan where we're going to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Where's your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for close to 45 years. Can you believe it? For four decades, we've been helping families just like yours get to your financial point B, to your goals, to your dreams with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like paying capital management can provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We're doing video conferences, teleconferences now. We can have everything go through a secure email system while you're sitting at home quarantined at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you have over $500,000 safe for retirement. While you're sitting at home being quarantined, why not get that review done at 844-752-6692. Our financial advisors are standing by. They do video conferences, teleconferences at 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. This is no pain, no game, financial radio. This is Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I want to give you the most common sense, practical advice you can use with your planning and investing. And with all the craziness, the volatility right now, we put together our bear market survival guide. We just give you some tips, some things to think about from a tax perspective to make sure you're making the best decisions with all the market volatility. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555. 555- 888, that's the word bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's our bear market survival guide. We just give you some tips, things that you can be doing right now proactively, readjusting your portfolio given the market volatility. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. So, Bob, even if you were prepared for the recent downturn in the economy and the market, you know, hopefully you had your bonds in your portfolio, you were more conservative, you had some cash on the sidelines to be prepared, I thought we could talk about some questions you need to be asking yourself right now when it comes to your portfolio, when it comes to your financial plan. And I think one thing we're learning again, you know, this being your fourth or fifth bear market, my third, is you need to stick to your discipline right now. Well, you do, Ryan, but I think the thing that everybody needs to realize and recognize is that all markets, all economies are cyclical. We have, you know, periods of growth, we have periods of recession, none of which are predictable. What I think everyone has to focus on right now is I want to stick my discipline, but do I have one? Is it definable, right? You need to define your discipline and stick to it. Yes, because there's a lot of geniuses out there, and I'll put that in quotes right now, that love to tell you they know, right? And we're hearing a lot like, look, We're going to see a double bottom in the stock market. It's definitely going down again. And then you hear other people say, oh, no, no, the bottom's in. Market's going straight up again. The economy is going to be rocking by summertime. How can you make any good investment decisions if you have no idea the next place the market's going to go? Well, that's the thing. No one can know what's unknowable. No one can predict the future. We can all make our best guess. But, you know, investing is not about guessing. Investing is about investing in high quality assets with a purpose in mind, right? You have to invest on purpose, right? Yeah, we talked about this on the last show, and I think it's important. Look, this pandemic is a temporary situation. We don't know how it's going to end, but I think, as you like to say, Bob, the world doesn't end very often. At some point, you know, we're going to come up with a solution here, and we know this is going to dissipate. But guess what? Your goals don't go away, right? You still have to combat inflation long term. You're still going to have income needs if you want to retire, if you're retired now. So you've got to make decisions today that are going to impact that once this, you know, once we get over the horizon here, so to speak. Yeah, you have to reassess your point B and make sure that your goals are still intact. And then look back to point A and make sure that you're doing everything possible to make that happen, including some of the suggestions that, you know, Jeff Bernstein made today on our previous segment. Yeah, there's so many things you can be doing from a tax standpoint right now. We talk about tax swaps, some really proactive steps you can make right now while markets are down that can really benefit your portfolio now for the next couple of years. I mean, maybe for the next decade. So there's a lot of things you can do there. 
smart and proactively. The other thing is, Bob, what we've learned is the next 10 years aren't going to be like the last 10 years. So it's a good time to reassess your portfolio and make adjustments because we're going to look different when we get out of this thing. You know, Rod, one thing I do know for sure is there's two certainties in life, right? Death and taxes. Nobody gets out of this alive. And there's never a time in your life where you should need every penny of your portfolio in your checking account. So your dollar cost average in, your dollar cost average out. You just have to have that end point in mind. If you have that goal in mind, that discipline just implies itself. So you make smart decisions when you know where you're going. And that's where we really help people to get on that road to success because, you know, you need to be in a position to win when we come out of this. Yeah. And that's where discipline's so key because the discipline's smarter than you, right? It's <laughs> like right now you may have the feeling, I just want to sell out of the market. And if you do that, it's probably not the best time to sell out of the market. On the other hand, it might be a good time to be buying shares for the long term because, you know, stocks do pay dividends. They pay cash flow. And cash flow is going to be really important when you actually retire. You know, we have an old saying, Bob, it's all about straw hats in the wintertime, right? We know some point the demand is going to come back. Well, right, right now there is no demand, but that's a better time to get the best pricing. You know, Ryan, I don't know if you, you're making a fashion statement, straw hats are going to come back. I mean, how do you think <laughs> I'll look in those? I think for you, Bob, it'd be very becoming. I think it could be a whole new fashion trend down there in Florida. Just my two cents on that. All right. I don't know. That doesn't fit over this hair, but you know, right. Here's a point. You know, the market is always right. You know, you might not like what it's doing, but it's always right. And I've seen so many people destroy themselves trying to beat the market. You don't need to beat the market. You need to be in. Yeah. You need to be long-term. The key is what's going to keep you in the market, right? And we talked about last week, having that big portfolio of bonds is protection in your portfolio. But, and we had people call us this week that said, Hey, the market's bounced here. Let me sell everything out now and get into cash for the next leg down. And then other people that got out of the market said, let me get back in here because the market's going to go higher now. Man, that's not a strategy. That's not going to get you to your goals. You're going to end up hurting yourself, financially speaking, trying to make these rash decisions and make these emotional decisions. The thing I hate to hear most now, Bob, is I just have a feeling right now that the market's going to do this. Well, having a feeling is not a strategy. <laughs> you know, Brian, that is so true. That's such an insightful comment. Is because, you know, no one knows what the market's going to do. You know, I kid you every morning. What's the market telling you today? Market doesn't talk to you. You know, the market just operates, right? And time passes. And what you have to do is have the right prorated strategy over those asset classes to ensure you're going to overcome inflation and achieve all of your financial goals. Yeah, and if you're thinking to yourself right now, yeah, I'm tired of making decisions on vibe, on what I think the market's going to do next. I need a real plan to get me to my goals. I'm sitting right home right now in quarantine. and I don't have a game plan. Well, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next seven callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Bob and I will run for you our famous total financial master plan. We'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review. We're going to look at the big picture. All you need to do is get those statements, print them off the web. You can send them through our email secure. We can take all that information and we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal while you're at home so you can see your entire net worth at a bird's eye view. And we can start looking at all those critical components. We're going to look at everything from income. You need an income game plan for retirement. How are you going to draw from your portfolio from retirement? Where's that income going to come from? We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio and account for inflation, that insidious tax you don't see. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit really, really hard in this bear market? When the market went down, was it unexpected? Of course it was unexpected, but we're going to show you how to bulletproof, protect your portfolio so you're prepared next time by showing you how to build a diversified portfolio and show you where all your hidden risks are. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio you don't know you're paying in those mutual funds, annuities, insurance products. We're going to show you where all that hidden cost is, show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio, then optimize it for taxes. There's so many things right now you can be doing from a tax perspective. Tax swaps, Roth conversions, tax-free income. We're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio for taxes so there's more money in your pocket. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we've worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or you could just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. 
And if you're one of our next seven callers and you've saved over 500,000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own total financial master plan. Now there's no obligation and there's no cost, but you won't have a plan and therefore not a discipline unless you call or text right now, 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLANNYC. That's 844-PLANNYC. Hey, this is Bob and I'm with my son, Rye, and we're the pains of no pain, no gain financial radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can check us out on the World Wide Web. Go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. You can actually subscribe to the show, get it in podcast form, have it sent to your email every week. And you can learn more about our firm, Payne Capital Management. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. And yes, Bob's hair is real, but you really should check it out for yourself. Go to bebullish.com and you can learn more about Payne Capital Management. You can catch myself, other advisors at Payne Capital Management and all the major networks every week from CNBC, Fox Business News, Yahoo Finance, talking about our latest thoughts on the economy, the markets. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can actually email us directly, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. We answer all your questions directly. And it's a really good question. Man, we've gotten so many questions lately. We answer them right here on the show. And this week, and our whole bag of questions, we've got a lot. We have our man, Dan Irving, in the studio helping us with questions today. Hey, Dan, how's uh, quarantining life down in North Carolina, man? Ooh, it's it's going well. Uh, my grocery store down the street got a new supply of toilet paper, so I am set. But well, we got some great questions in the mailbag today. First one is from Elizabeth, who emailed in and said, Hey, Bob. I am just interested in understanding what you consider to be a risk-free investment. If your mom was 65 and had about two and a half million in the market and about 600K in real estate, she gets about 2,300 a month from a pension. Is it possible for her to be able to live on that for the rest of her life? She has the longevity gene, Elizabeth says. Well, I'll tell you what, Dan, that is a loaded question. There's lots of great information there. But, you know, let me just address the first part for Elizabeth with you, Rye. There is no such thing as a risk-free investment. Everything that is an investment in order to get a return changes in price every second of the day. Correct? Yeah, I think there's more like a hierarchy of risk, right, than, than not, right? Obviously, if you have money in the stock market, that's a higher risk investment. And we've talked about bonds at nauseum on the show. And we're telling listeners, we've told our clients, stay away from bond funds here because they're perceived to be a safe investment but they're really not, your money does not come back to you. So I think on the lower end of the scale of risk is obviously cash. Cash stays in the account, it doesn't move, but bonds that come due that are high quality, will be the next rung of very safe investments, Bob, on that chain of risk versus very risky. Yeah, so Elizabeth, tell your mom, stay away from anything where people tell you it's guaranteed and it's risk-free. As Ryan says, different levels of risk. Now, you know, long before you were even a thought of uh, your, mom, your mom and I, Rye, when I started in this business, exactly what Elizabeth is asking here is the process that I developed to help people to invest properly. And it's called A to B. Now, you know, for Elizabeth, you know, what does she need to know at point A in order to determine how to get to point B? Yeah, well, it sounds like we have 2300 a month you're getting from your pension. That's great. But above and beyond that, what kind of income do you need? Because if you don't have a baseline for what you need to spend, well, we have no idea if what you have in savings, what you have with your house and your pension is enough. You've got to establish those basic goals at first. And that's really about what we call point A of the A to B strategy is just establishing where you are right now. So basically using the software tools that we have that have become a lot more sophisticated when I used to do this on a calculator and a spreadsheet, we can plug in, you know, how old you are now, how much you're getting in passive income streams like pension and social security, what rate of return historically has that two and a half million dollars of investment return. And then we need to know from Elizabeth, how much does her mother need to spend on a monthly basis? Once we have that, Rye, it's pretty much just getting from point A to point B, isn't it? Yes, Bob, exactly. Exactly right. And that's the thing is, and then we can account for all those other things like inflation, cost of living is going to go up. We talked about that earlier today. Taxation, taxes are just a big part of the equation. And also looking at how your portfolio should be allocated because we don't know with the money you have invested right now, do you have it all in bonds? Do you have too much money in the market? 
So all those things have to be tweaked and adjusted. And the nice thing is by running an income analysis, we can determine how much income you could actually produce on your investments every year. That's not relying on the ups and downs of the stock market. You know, income is much more reliable than the market. We talk about that all the time. You know, what's great about that process, Rai, is that it doesn't matter if you're 65, 55, 45, or 35. The process is the same for everyone. Everyone needs to know where they are right now and where they're going. Net inflation and taxation, it doesn't take that much time. You just have to sit down with us and go through a process. Thank you, Elizabeth, for writing in. Our next question is from Jim in Sparta, New Jersey. Jim says, Ryan, I'm 68 and I'm retired. With the available cash in my IRA, would you suggest that I buy an S&P 500 ETF or good quality dividend paying stocks like Wells Fargo, AT&T, or something else? Well, a lot to unpack here. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. First off, Jim, where are your bonds, right? Look, we saw what just happened in the market not having any money in something that's protected, like bonds that come due that are high quality, we talk about this all the time, is your baseline. You can't have all your money at risk. Secondly, all those stocks you mentioned are in the S&P 500. So first off, I don't think picking individual stocks is the best game to play because any stock can go to zero and something you can't really afford while you're retired. Now, the other side of that equation, Bob, you can speak more about this, is just owning the S&P 500 is not true diversification. Well, it's not, right because when you think about all the stocks that are out there that you can invest in, the number's closer to 10,000. So why would you limit yourself to 500 in terms of diversification? Because the only way to truly reduce risk is to diversify the living daylights out of your portfolio. And I've heard the argument before, well, Bob, if I just own the best U.S. companies, the S&P 500, the biggest blue chip companies, what else do I need to own? Well, people forget there are decades when the S&P 500 does nothing. You could have bought U.S. stocks in the year 2000, and by 2010, a whole 10 years, you made no money in the U.S. markets. So to have all your money in that one segment, 10 years is a long time to go without making money, especially if you need money to live on in retirement. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's hard to keep your to have a memory when it comes to investing, but it's so important to understand history and understand history as a guide. Last 10 years, the S&P 500 was the best performing index of all the global indexes in the world. The previous 10 years, it returned zero. I mean, I don't know about you, but zero is not going to get me to my goals. And just another rant on individual stocks, Bob. You know, you and I worked for Merrill Lynch. It was a great company. You were there during the heyday. You have some great stories about your time at Merrill Lynch, which would make a, that would make a great podcast, by the way. And that company was around for over 90 years. And with the matter of only a couple months, the stock basically went to zero. So I don't care if it's the bluest of blue chip company. You just never know. Why take that risk of having any company that could go under? And right now, look, these are ugly times. There are companies that are going to go bankrupt, and we're not smart enough to know because sometimes the people within the company actually lie about their numbers. So you'll never know with any individual company, even if you work there, what's the true numbers and if it's going to be around or not. You know, the greatest disappointment of my life, son, was when you had your office in Manhattan right outside this, the chairman of Merrill Lynch's office. And he never came out to tell you that they were leveraging their balance sheet 35 to 1 and that they were bankrupt and going to go out of business. I work for the company. I don't understand why you didn't have any inside information. I'm still a little hurt about that, but I just was, I was the last guy to know the deal team, as they say. So, Ryan, let me ask you a question. You know, on a scale of 1 to 10, in terms of being financially organized, where would you put Jim and Elizabeth? Oof, man, they've got some work to do. I'd say three across the board. It's time to get a financial master plan and get on track for retirement. Yeah, it sounds like they both need an A to B strategy. So let me ask all of you right now, as you're sitting there listening to us, scale of one to 10 in terms of being financially organized and understanding you know, how you're going to get to your goals, what would Ryan give you? Are you a 10? I mean, just think, what would your spouse give you on, a terms of, of, on a scale of one to 10? And, and if you're not a 10, why wouldn't you want to be? Because here's your opportunity. If you're one of our next five callers and you've saved over 500000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own 360 financial portal. Here's a way to get financially organized. This is a financial GPS, not unlike what you have in your car right now. It'll map out where you're going and will report daily on your progress of your journey to financial independence. It will define your financial timeline and the best, most efficient route to achieve all of your financial goals. It will put your financial life on autopilot and help you to avoid those financial potholes and dead ends that prevent us from achieving all of our goals. It'll track and update your net worth on a daily basis in real time, so you'll always know where you are, more importantly, 
you'll know where you're going and when you're gonna get there. When it comes to your portfolio, you know, Ryan, I wanna be certain that you don't have a collection of investments. You know, you can send us your statements right now in a secure email, or you can print them out. Hey, look, they're all coming in the mail. I know a lot of you don't even wanna look at your statements this month. We do. We want to be certain that you have the three key elements of a successful strategy. You need to be diversified, not just across asset classes, within asset classes. Owning a couple of dividend stocks or having the S&P 500, not enough. Too much risk. You know what? All of you have more risk than necessary to achieve your goals. We know how to look. We know where to look. We have an x-ray that will show you exactly what it looks like. You know, let us help you to do that. And lastly, income. We all need a dependable income stream. Once we have that income gap that comes with retirement. And if you're retired right now, you have one goal, and that goal is to stay retired. And that comes with a dependable, repeatable income stream, something that you can't outlive. And lastly, we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan. We'll answer that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money, or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family's been perfecting now for four decades. Can you believe it? For 46 years, we've been helping families just like yours get from your financial point A to your B, to your goals, to with your dreams, with the least amount of risk and only the certainty that a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Give us a call or text at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. We're doing video conferences, teleconferences now while you're quarantined. A good time to revise your finances. Make sure you're on track at 844-752-6692. 92. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next five callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. We'll do an audio video conference with you at 844-752-6692. That's 844-PLANNYC. This is no pain, no gain, financial radio. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain, financial radio. And Bob and I, as you know, are simple men. So we want to keep it simple for you, just giving you the most common sense, practical advice you can use with your planning and investing. That's why we put together our recent Bear Market Survival Guide. We just give you some tips, tax strategies, ideas you can utilize right now to reposition your portfolio. Given the volatility, given the craziness, you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish, spelled B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. We give you our bear market survival guide, just give you some tips, give you some ideas around taxes, things you can do to reposition your portfolio now while things are volatile, you can take advantage of. You can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish, 555-888. That's the word bullish, to 555-888. And now we have a very special guest on the show, my colleague, Bob's colleague, Mr. Aaron Dessen. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. You guys have really decorated Quarantine Studio very nicely. Well, this is our spotlight segment, Aaron. Every week what we do is we take a real case and we break down how we helped a couple or an individual get on their path to financial freedom. You worked on a case recently. So why don't you tell us what you did to help this couple get on their path to financial freedom? Yeah, absolutely. So recently I was working with a couple in their early 60s looking to retire in the next few years. And you know they really just wanted to consolidate some of their accounts, have everything under one roof, and really look at the planning aspect of things. Income, generating income from their investments was a huge pressure point for them going into retirement and needing to really live off of their their savings. Yeah. I mean, one thing that's uh, so critical when you're in that we call financial red zone is like five years out from retirement to retirement is like, you've got to have an income plan for retirement. Got to figure out how you're going to pull the money out of all that money you saved over the years. Right, right. Exactly. And, you know, what we were able to find just by reducing some of their fees and consolidating these accounts and, you know, increasing the income on the portfolio, we were able to take the overall portfolio income to over $68,000 a year, which came very, very close to completely erasing the income gap that they would have in retirement between, you know, Social Security and, and all their other income streams. So, Aaron, let me ask you, before they came to you, did they have a strategy? Was it just a collection of investments? Did they have a plan? Did they have an advisor? Or is it just one day they woke up and said, oh my goodness, I'm 60, I better do something? It was kind of a mix of everything, Bob. They did have a, an advisor that they'd been working with for a really long time. I mean, they just kind of felt, I think, that the accounts were stagnant and they didn't really have a plan. They also had some accounts you know, with outside firms that they had been managing themselves and just kind of felt like everything was on autopilot. They didn't really know you know, why they were doing what they're doing, but never really sat down to make a plan to see, okay, you know, I can retire 
at this age and here's the income coming in and, and we'll be okay and you know really plan it out from a to b and how they were going to get there it amazes me and i was on the phone with an actual client this past week like you forget what you have i mean we literally run an analysis for him and then we're, we're going through it put together the whole financial net worth spreadsheet so we could see exactly where all his assets were and he goes wait a second it's like i have another half a million dollar 401k i totally forgot about so I think just like getting everything and telling it up is a very therapeutic process because it's just nice to say, okay, here's where everything is. And then you can start to hone in and say, is everything working together? Or is this just a bunch of, like we call that collection of investments? Now, it's so true, Ryan. I, I see this all the time. And especially over this last couple of weeks, we've been getting calls almost every day from our clients, from, from their accountants and their attorneys. And they're saying, well, you know, our, my client doesn't have a plan. There is no written plan. There is no projections like you do for your clients. And they're, they're calling them up saying, you know, I have an advisor, but I'm starting to think I have the wrong one. When you retire, you don't want to sit there managing your portfolio. You want to manage your retirement. Bob, that's a great, that's a great point. Another thing that we talked about was wanting to leave a legacy for their children and really having their estate, you know, planned for and set up so that it would make things as easy as possible for their heirs God forbid something were to happen to one of them, everything's in one place on that 360 financial portal. And that was another thing that just kind of sort of got left by the wayside and was, you know, in a couple different areas like their investments. So it was really so telling to pull everything together, let them really see what they have and really, you know, bring it together in one consolidated, concise plan. Yeah. And I think while you're quarantining right now, like what a better time to just be like, okay, let me assess where I'm at. I know it's hard to do that because Mark's been volatile probably have taken some hit hits in some of your accounts. You're not alone. Everybody's done it. But I think sometimes just looking at this stuff squarely, being able to see where everything is, it's not as bad as you think typically is what we found. And secondly, then you can be proactive about it. And I think there's something about getting rid of your stress by just making proactive moves and know you're doing something um, as opposed to just sitting, saying, I'm not going to look at my statements. I'm not going to look at my values online. I'm just going to hope. And as Bob likes to say, man, hope is not a strategy. You know, you're absolutely right about that, guys. You know, fear, luck, and hope aren't a strategy, right? Don't bury your head in the sand. Pull those statements out. Take a look at them. Rip the Band-Aid off. Yeah, it's down. Everybody's down. But it's in these bear markets where you create the most wealth if you take the right steps. There's no denying the numbers. And anyway, everybody needs to know if they're going to achieve their goals. And I'll tell you what, right now, you want to put yourself in a position to win because we're going to win as a country. We're going to win as an economy. We're going to win when this market goes back up. You want to be in a position to win. Well, the word of Bob is spoken. Aaron, great job on this case. And, and if you're thinking to yourself right now, this is the kind of plan I need. I need a game plan. I have had my head in the sand. Scary times. But you know what? It's better to know. And if you're one of the next two callers, you have over $500,000 saved for retirement. Myself, Bob, Aaron, will run for you our total financial master plan. We're going to do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at the big picture we can receive all your statements through a secure email. And then we're going to build for you your own personalized financial portal, just like this, where you get a bird's eye view of your financial picture. You can take a look, assess where everything is, and we'll start looking at all the critical things you want to start thinking about now. Everything from income. Income is just so much more reliable than the ups and downs of the market. Do you have an income plan for retirement? How are you going to pull from your portfolios in retirement? We're going to show you how to optimize the income on your portfolio so you have an income plan that you can't outlive. We're going to look at diversification. Did you get hit really hard when the market pulled back? Were you protected? Did you have hedges in your portfolio? Were you diversified? We're going to show you how to protect and bulletproof your portfolio so you have a game plan for the rest of your life. And we're going to look at fees and taxes. There's a lot of hidden costs in your portfolio. Most likely, you don't know you're paying. A lot of these mutual funds, brokerage products, insurance products, annuities have a lot of hidden costs. We're going to show you all the hidden costs are on your portfolio, show you how to reduce that, then we're going to show you how to optimize your portfolio for taxes. There's so many things you can do from a tax perspective right now with all this volatility, everything from Roth conversions, tax swaps. We're going to show you how to put more money in your pocket, tax-free income. And then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, utilizing strategies now we have worked on for over 45 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. All you have to do is call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Or just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC.
Hey, don't miss out. We only have a couple spots left. If you're one of our next few callers, you've saved over 500,000 for retirement. Rye, Aaron, and I will create for you your own total financial masterpiece. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost, but there won't be a plan unless you text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. All you have to do is just simply call 844-PLAN-NYC, 844-PLAN-NYC. Well, another great show. And as always, be bullish. Hey, this is Ryan Payne, co-host of No Pain, No Gain, financial radio and podcast. And if you're thinking to yourself, I need a game plan in these volatile times for my financial planning, well, you can get a game plan with us. Simply go to www.paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. We can help you out. Make sure you get you on the right track here in these volatile times. Make sure you're making right decisions for your retirement plan. You can check it out. Simply go to paincm.com slash game plan. That's paincm.com slash game plan. Check it out.